Welcome to my lecture online. Here is a problem that when you see it and you know what it's about, you say, great, because I can do this one in a few seconds and move right on to the next problem and save myself some time for the more difficult ones. So here we're dealing with the concept of graphing a velocity versus time graph and an acceleration versus time graph. And the question reads as follows. If the velocity time graph has the shape a and b, as is indicated, so this was on the test right there, what would be the shape of the corresponding acceleration versus time graph? All right, so let's take a look. Here we have velocity versus time, and what you have to understand, this is the concept we have to understand. The concept is that in a velocity versus time graph, the slope equals acceleration. If you understand that concept, it's an easy problem. Because notice that we have a straight line coming down at a constant slope. That means that the slope, meaning the acceleration, must also be constant. And since the slope is negative, this requires a negative acceleration. Here the slope, again, it's constant, constant slope, meaning constant acceleration. But since the slope is positive, we should expect a positive acceleration. And notice that the steepness of the negative slope equals the steepness of the positive slope. Now when we look at these graphs, notice over here we have a negative acceleration that's constant because it doesn't change. And here we have a positive acceleration that's constant because it doesn't change. And notice that the distance from there to there equals the distance from there to there. So the steepness of the slope in the negative direction equals the steepness of the slope in the positive direction, simply by these two being the same. So it is immediately obvious that A is the correct answer. Notice B doesn't make any sense because you're making all these changes, negative, positive, negative, positive, but you only have one negative slope and one positive slope. You should only have two of them, not a multitude of them. It's definitely not a sine wave because here the, here the acceleration is continuously changing, where here the slope is constant, therefore the acceleration is constant, and here also the acceleration is constantly changing, which cannot match this because the slope is constant, meaning the acceleration must be constant. So the only possible answer is A. You could do this in about five or 10 seconds, find the right answer, move on to the next problem. So this is not a difficult problem, again, if you understand the concept of what the slope means in the velocity versus time graph, and that is how it's done. <laughs> You're checking the time. <laughs> yeah, but I did a lot of talking. You're doing this one really fast.